It's Wednesday and uh, I just interviewed Sifu Della O'Sullivan for our Wing Chun podcast, The Sifu Stories. If you want to listen to the interview, it's going to be available on Monday on our website, addictedtowingchun.com. More than 3,000 people followed us on Instagram. We're growing. We're getting closer every day to helping 1 million people unleash their power and heal themselves. And I have this really cool story that I want to share with you. One of the people who just enrolled into our online Wing Chun program, he emailed me and shared a bit about his story. I don't want to share too much because I feel that this is his story to tell and to share and to spread. What I can tell you, however, is that he used Wing Chun to get out of his deathbed. And that's exactly the words he used. He used Wing Chun to be able to walk again. The doctor said that he, will not, he would not be able to ever walk again and he just proved everyone wrong. So, <laughs> you can absolutely use Wing Chun to heal yourself and to unleash your power. So we have this cool question, what do you do when somebody is very tall or very big? And the moment uh, you ask the question, this, uh, this scenario came into my mind. Michael J. White, he was asked who would be able to be Bruce Lee? Like, would anybody be able to be Bruce Lee? And Michael J. White said, of course, I could. He says, I could be Bruce Lee. Why? Because Michael J. White is like, is like this. Who sleeps like this? So when you're fighting somebody like uh, like Sidju, for example, who's got like this kind of reach where he can punch me, no problem. If he extends his shoulder a bit, this is his reach actually, right? If he does a buzal, this becomes his reach. We, are, we actually don't want to fight people like this. That's the best answer, <laughs> right? And what do I mean by that? When I say I don't want to fight him, I don't want him to be aware of the fact that we're going to fight. I want to comply, right? I want to comply and then come back. I'm doing this, this physically, but if we were to do this mentally, how would you do it? You don't want to fight him, you want to finish him. So you want to use what? Surprise! You want to use surprise. If that fails, let's say you miss and he steps back, right? I hit, he steps back, now we know that we're fighting. What do I do now? What do I use? Like, hmm? If I go was... there, I hit, he hits me, I hit him, then what's gonna happen? Hmm? Go I'm gonna get knocked out because he's gonna hit me first. He's gonna hit me first. Okay? So what do I wanna do? I want to use distraction. So he knows we're fighting, you want him to see your leg, and then you go in immediately. Hit. We're having such a gorgeous day right now. <laughs> I've been super productive today and this is my reward. I'm heading out to the park to do some fitness exercises, to do some meditation, maybe film a bit and uh, just enjoy nature in this gorgeous weather. Oh